The Muroff family could have lived anywhere on the planet, and a few months ago, they chose coastal North Carolina. For a little while, we were deciding which country we were going to live in. So we started in Australia. Um, I'm from close to Melbourne. They're now less than three miles from the sand where elevated houses are as common as a game of beach volleyball. Yet a massive change is now underway that's reshaping communities throughout the southeast and Gulf Coast. Where we live, we've got ocean, we've got sound, and we've got the river. I'm Sharon Robinson. I'm Alan Robinson. This real estate family, Robinson, have been selling homes here for four decades. Coastal flooding, erosion, storm surge, that's always been a risk. But now banks and lending institutions are starting to look at future sea level rise maps before they hand out loans. You're required to build your house up certain level. Down payments for homes are getting larger and larger with the advent of climate change risks. Dr. Jesse Keenan, an associate professor at Tulane School of Architecture, tells us in coastal communities like here in Moorhead City, many of the new mortgages come with this extra cost. It's not just bigger down payments. The loans are actually shorter than the standard 30 years. And that changes who can live along the coast. They're turning around and redoing them and changing the whole community. From talking to researchers and just driving around here, you can see the older homes are being replaced with larger, more elevated properties. This is the foundation right here, several feet off the ground. That makes the new homes more expensive. And add on to that, we are right up against the edge of the marsh. There's only so much land to go around. This change is known as blue lining. Blue lining is an extension of red lining, a phenomenon where banks racially and spatially segregated populations in the United States. And we're now living with that legacy as climate change again challenges how we invest and disinvest in our built environment. The Muroffs found a private lender and used the profits from their old house to buy this new one. They looked at FEMA maps before moving in, but did not think about the nearly 10 inches of North Carolina sea level rise since 1950. I'm not sure exactly why, but climate change hasn't really entered into the, the equation for us. We just found an area that we thought would do for us, and that's what we ended up going for. The research suggests when banks factor in sea level rise, it disrupts the very idea of the 30-year mortgage. Here it is. An American institution that goes back to the Great Depression. You see, before that time, home loans were as short as five years, and down payments were... Somewhere between 50 and 60% of the purchase price. While nobody is suggesting banks are going back to those days, the risk is changing loans recasting who can live here. For the Muroffs, this may not be their forever home. We're still undecided on that. Yeah. Uh, we're, we just thought this house definitely meets our needs for the time being. So as they're quickly getting used to the new neighborhood, just a few miles away, sea level rise is accelerating. In Moorhead City, North Carolina, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.